Today we're going to be talking about the new version of Skitch that was released recently with the update to iOS 7. Um, one of the first iPad 101 videos I did was Skitch and since it has changed I wanted to go ahead and update um, to the new version so that people could um, work with both depending on what they have. Before I get started in Skitch, I want to show you real quickly one of the things I've been doing in my class and that's been using coloring sheets with Skitch to label because the kids really enjoy um, being able to color them after they're done. Of course this is for the younger kids. I think the older kids would really enjoy it if you were doing something like the water cycle or something like that and they could finish the project. So I'm just going to pick this um, coloring sheet here. Again, I'm using the Mac to show you what I'm clicking on the iPad. And all I'm going to do is hold my finger on it for a couple seconds until the save icon comes up. I'm going to try. There we go. And now that photo is saved to my camera roll. So we're going to go back to Skitch. Skitch, the logo has changed and everything. It's this one up here at the top. So I'm going to open Skitch and you'll see it looks very different than it did before. You can see I only have three images here in my camera roll so that's where you would pick the images that you're going to work with. If you wanted to go into your um, different albums you would click on this little icon here and it would open up any other albums that you might have but this is just a camera roll. So we're going to click on that image that I selected and then I have Skitch open and ready to be labeled. On the right here you'll see that if you press the arrow you get all the different choices, the tools that you would use. Um, if you take that off, on the left here you see the little color icon where you can pick the different size and the color that you want of the tool that you're using. So we're just going to label here. All I did was drag my finger onto the picture and label the flower however you want to. You can scale it um, just by dragging your fingers together on the image. So we'll label the butterfly here. And then over here on the right again, I'm going to press the tools and they pop up and I'm going to switch to the text tool. And again, I'm just going to tap on the screen and the little text bar comes up. So we could write butterfly, press the keyboard icon to make it disappear or touch on the screen. And then that can be dragged and dropped anywhere. And you have the option to make it bigger by um, pulling on the blue dot. And then you can label it however you want. So that can be repeated as many times. Again, there's some other tools over here like the digitize, which blurs out things. The, there's a couple of different labeling. The box tool, occasionally my kids will use the box tool to put a box around something that they want to highlight. So that's an option. So as you can see, it's really similar to the um, original version of Skitch. The main difference really is that you don't need an account anymore to use it at all. It's uh, Skitch used to be tied to Evernote and now it's a separate um, app, a separate function. It can be tied to Evernote, but it's not required anymore for you to be able to save them and to use them. And um, the only other big difference is the toolbar moved to this little dot and the color options and the size options moved over here to this side. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'll put the link to the original video as well because I walk through a little bit more the process of using this and then what I do in my class once the kids have finished labeling they're, they're required to put at least five words on the um, picture then I email that to myself and you can see that up here on the share icon so we'll press the share and I'll just click share and then I would just email that to myself in the classroom and um, copy and put that on a Microsoft Word document and print it for the kids to finish coloring and take it home so they have they have their finished project to use. Another thing I do to save paper is I print two of these images on one Word document and just cut it in half because they don't need a full size image. The point is just that they have some kind of product to take home um, to kind of show the work that they've done. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.